Hello and welcome to this transmitter programming tutorial for the E-Flight P51D Mustang 1.2. Today I'll be programming this DX6E transmitter, but this programming is applicable for most Spectrum DX radios. Let's get started by selecting a new model. Click the scroll wheel and scroll all the way down to System Setup. Click on System Setup. Now we get a warning letting us know that by proceeding into the next menu, the RF deck will be shut off, meaning there'll be no signal being transmitted from our radio. Click Yes. And now we'll scroll down to Model Select. Click Model Select. Now we'll scroll all the way down to Add New Model and click. And then scroll down to Create. And this gives us a brand new, completely blank model to get started on. Now we can name our model. We'll scroll down to Model Name. And starting with the first character, I'll name it P51 Mustang. Once the name is entered, you can push the back button to take us back to the system setup list. Now, let's scroll to aircraft type. Click on aircraft type, and now we'll scroll down to where it says wing normal. Click on normal, and scroll to the right until it says one aileron, one flap, and click. One aileron, one flap means we have one channel controlling our ailerons, and one channel controlling our flaps. Push the back button again, and push it once more to get back to the main menu. Now let's set up our dual rates. Click the scroll wheel, and scroll down to DR and Expo, and click. The manual suggests we can use either a two position switch for high and low rates, or we can utilize a three position switch for high, mid, and low rates. I'll be using the C switch on this transmitter, which is a two position switch. So I will only have high and low. To get started, we see we're already on channel aileron. Let's scroll down to switch and click where it says on and scroll to the right to choose a switch. Click to lock it in. Now with my C switch, the zero position will be my high rates. So I'll leave that at 100%. I'll flip the switch down to the one position for low rates, and then I'll scroll up to the 100%, click and scroll left to bring it all the way down to 70% for my low rates. I can verify that's working. And that will do the same for the elevator and rudder channels. I'll scroll up to where it says aileron, click, scroll to the right, now we have elevator, click. Now I'll scroll down to switch and assign the switch. Click and scroll to the right. Now I'll flip the switch down to the low rate position and change the 100s to 70. Now I'll do the same for the rudder channel. Now that we have our dual rate set, we can push the back button and now scroll down to throttle cut. Click on throttle cut and then scroll down to where it says inhibit and click and scroll to the right to select a switch. The H switch is most commonly used for throttle cut and that's the switch I'll be using. Just by selecting a switch, it automatically sets the position to negative 100% and that'll work just fine for us. We can see that if we flip the throttle cut on, the throttle channel is now locked 
at negative 100%. If we move the throttle up and down, we are still stuck at negative 100%. This is very important for safety when out at the flying field to help reduce the chance of an accidental throttle up. Now we'll push the back button again. And now we'll scroll down to flap system. Now scroll down to where it says inhibit and click and scroll to the right to select a flap switch. The D switch is most commonly used for flaps and that's the switch I'll be using. We can see per the manual, the flap value for position zero should be set to 100%. So click on the zero and scroll to the right until you get to 100%. and then click to lock in that value. In position one, we will leave at 0%. Scroll down to position two, and we'll add a negative 100% flap value. To do so, click and scroll to the left, all the way to negative 100%. Now we can see our flaps moving when we flip the switch but they're coming down instantaneously. This would be quite jarring in the air, having the flaps come down immediately. So scroll down to where it says speed, click on norm, and scroll to the right until we get to two seconds, 2.0 seconds. Now when we flip the flaps, we can see they move down slower, just like a scale aircraft. Now that our flaps are set, push the back button, and there's only one thing left to do. We need to reverse the gear channel. To do so, scroll up to Servo Setup, it's here on the function list, and click. Now scroll down to Travel, and click on Travel, and scroll to the right, two clicks, until it says Reverse, and then click. Now we'll scroll down to the GER, which is the gear channel, and we'll click. The channel is now reversed. Now our landing gear will come up and down as intended. Now I'll push the back button twice to take us back to the main menu. And now our DX6E is programmed and ready for the P51D Mustang 1.2. Thank you so much for joining me in this transmitter programming tutorial. Hello and welcome to this programming tutorial for the E-Flight P51D Mustang 1.2. Today, I'll be programming this NX6 transmitter, but this programming is applicable for any Spectrum NX radio. We'll get started by selecting a brand new model. Click the scroll wheel and scroll all the way down to System Setup and click this gives us a warning letting us know that by entering the next menu, it shuts off our RF deck, meaning our transmitter will not be sending out a signal. Click yes. Now scroll down to model select and click. Now we'll scroll down to add new model and click. And scroll down to create and click. This gives us a brand new model with a completely blank setup. Now let's name the model. We'll go down to model name and starting with the first character, I'll name this P51D Mustang. Once you have the model named, you can push the back button twice to take us back to the system setup menu. Now scroll down to aircraft type and click. Now scroll down to where it says wing normal and click on normal. Scroll to the right until we get to one aileron, one flap and click. One aileron, one flap means we'll have one channel controlling our ailerons and one channel controlling our flaps. 
Once that's set, push the back button, and once again to go back to the main screen. Now let's set up our dual rates. Click the scroll wheel and scroll down to DR and Expo. The manual suggests we can use either a two position switch for high and low rates or a three position switch for high, mid, and low rates. I'll be using the C switch, which is a three position switch, so I might as well use all three rates. Getting started with the channel aileron, which is already selected, we'll scroll down to where it says switch on and click. Scroll to the right to select a switch. The C switch in the zero position will be my high rates, so I will leave that at 100%. I'll flip it down to the one position for my mid rates and set the 100s to 70. Click and scroll to the left. Now we'll flip our dual rate switch down to the two position, which will be our low rates. We'll click the 100s, scroll to the left and bring them all the way down to 50%. Now we can see we have our low rates, mid rates, and high rates. Now let's do the same for the elevator and rudder channels. We'll scroll up to aileron and click. Scroll to the right, change it to elevator, click. And we'll scroll down to switch on again and click. And scroll to the right until it says switch C and click. Zero position stays at 100% for high rates. Flip down to the one position for mid rates and set the 100s down to 70. And flip the switch down to the two position for our low rates and bring those 100s down to 50. We'll verify that it's working, it is. And now we'll do the same thing for the rudder channel. Now that we have our dual rates set, let's push the back button to take us back to the function list. And now scroll down to throttle cut and click. Scroll down to where it says inhibit and click. And scroll to the right to select a switch. The H switch is most commonly used for throttle cut. And that's the switch I'll be using. We can see that just by selecting a switch, it automatically sets the position to negative 100. So if we flip the throttle cut on, the throttle channel is locked in at negative 100%. Even if we move the stick up and down, the throttle channel does not respond. This is very important for safety out at the flying field to help reduce the chance of an accidental throttle up. Now we'll push the back button, taking us back to the function list. And now let's set up our flaps. Scroll down to flap system and click. And now scroll down to inhibit and click. And scroll to the right to select a switch. The D switch is most commonly used as a flap switch. And that's the switch I'll be using. The manual calls for a flap value for position zero of 100%. So we'll click on that zero and scroll to the right until we get to 100. and click to lock it in. Position one will stay at 0%, and position two should be negative 100%. Let's set that now. Scroll down to the zero by position two, click, and scroll to the left until we get to negative 100. Click to lock it in. Now we see our flaps are moving as they should, However, they're moving too quickly. The flaps coming down at this speed in flight would be pretty jarring. 
Let's scroll down to where it says speed norm. Click on norm and scroll to the right until we get to two seconds, 2.0 seconds. Now we can see the flaps come down at a slower, more scale speed. Now we'll push the back button back to the function list. And there's only one thing left to do. We need to reverse the gear channel. Scroll up to servo setup and click and scroll to the word travel and click. Scroll to the right until you get to reverse and click. And now we'll scroll down to the GER or gear channel and click to reverse the channel. With the gear channel reversed, our landing gear will now move up and down as intended. Push the back button twice and we're back at the home screen and our NX6 is now programmed and ready to go for the P51D Mustang 1.2. Thank you so much for joining me in this transmitter tutorial. Hello and welcome to this transmitter programming tutorial for the E-Flight P51D Mustang 1.2. Today I'll be programming with this IX14 transmitter, but this programming is applicable for all Spectrum IX radios. Let's get started by selecting a new model. We'll click the little marker at the top left hand side, push proceed, and now click the three dots at the top right hand corner and click add new model. Default, airplane, create. And this will give us a completely blank brand new model. We'll scroll down to the bottom to find the model we just made, click, and now we can name the model. I'll call this one P51D Mustang. Once the model is named, we can push the back button to model utilities and back once again. Let's get started by setting up our dual rates. Click model adjust and then dual rates and expo. We'll get started with our aileron channel, which is already selected. Let's choose a switch. The manual suggests we can use either a two position switch for high and low rates, or we can use a three position switch for high, mid, and low. I'll be using the C switch, which is a three position switch. So I'll go ahead and utilize high, mid, and low rates. Again, starting with the aileron channel, the zero position will be our high rates. So we'll leave that at 100%. Flipping down to our mid rates, we can now change the 100s to 70 for our mid rates. Okay to lock it in. Then flip the switch down to the two position for low rates and we'll drop those down to 50%. We can verify that it's working. And now do the same for our elevator and rudder channels. Click where it says aileron, click on elevator. Now scroll down to choose the switch. Again, leaving the zero position on 100% for our high rates. Flip down to the one position for mid rates and set those to 70%. And now flip down to the two position for low rates and set those to 50%. We'll verify that it's working and they are. And now we'll do the same for the rudder channel. Now that the dual rates are set, push the back button to go back to model adjust and now click on throttle cut. 
click on inhibit to select a throttle cut switch. The H switch is most commonly used for the throttle cut and that's the switch I'll be using. We can see that just by selecting the switch, it automatically sets the position to negative 100%. And that's exactly what we want. When the throttle cut is flipped on, our throttle channel is locked in at negative 100%. This is very important for safety when out at the flying field to help reduce the chance of an accidental throttle up. Now we'll push the back button again, back to model adjust, and now click on servo setup. Here's where we can reverse the gear channel per the manual. Click the switch next to gear, and now the gear channel is reversed, and the landing gear will now move up and down as intended. Now we'll push the back button again, and push the back button once more. Now let's set up our flaps. Click model setup, and then aircraft type. Proceed. Here's our wing type. Click on wing and select one aileron, one flap. One aileron, one flap means we have one channel controlling our ailerons and one channel controlling our flaps. Now push the back button. We'll go back to the home screen. And now we'll go to model adjust again. And now we have a new menu option called flap system. Click on flap system and select a switch. The D switch is most commonly used as a flap switch, and that's the one I'll be using. Per the manual, the flap value for position zero should be 100%. So click and set that to 100%. Position one will remain at zero, and position two should be negative 100%. and no elevator mixes are required. Now the flaps are moving as they're supposed to, except they move a little too quickly. If the flaps come down instantly, that will be quite jarring for the aircraft. Here we can adjust the speed. Click speed and then move it to two seconds, 2.0 seconds. Now our flaps will come down at the more scale intended speed. Now we can push the back button and go back to our home screen. Our IX-14 is now programmed and ready for the E-Flight P-51D Mustang 1.2. Thank you so much for joining me in this tutorial.